Welcome back my sewing friends. Here's the video you guys are asking for. This is going to be a down and dirty quick version of our lens sling but made in clear vinyl. So I personally don't have a need for a clear bag. I don't need people seeing what I'm carrying around but it sounds like there's quite a need for stadium bags or certain employers are requiring their employees to carry a clear bag. So this one's for you. I would encourage you to try doing the original version so you have a good understanding of how it comes together because this is clear vinyl. So if you make a mistake, you need to seam rip. Those holes are there to stay. You're going to see your seams. Everything is on full display. So I would encourage you to get comfortable with the original version before jumping into this. Plus, it's sticky. Vinyl is sticky. It's, it's not the easiest material to work with. But aside from those hard things, now we're eliminating lining, there's no interfacing. That means this thing comes together so fast. Plus it's a perfect opportunity to show all these cute little custom zippers and pulls. So let's jump right into it. I just wanna cover some of the important tools we're gonna to need to use for um, working with plastic vinyl. I can't emphasize enough, you're gonna need some sort of Teflon foot or a walking roller foot, something. I'll be using my walking foot machine so I don't have to worry about the Teflon. But when you're working with plastic vinyl it is extremely sticky and if you don't increase your stitch length or use something that helps glide it along it's going to stick your foot will stick and you're going to get real tight stitches that will essentially perforate your clear vinyl this type of vinyl acts very similar to faux leather and vinyl and um, that once you poke holes they're permanently there but it doesn't have that fabric backing that adds extra strength to it. So you really want to increase your stitch length and make sure there's no pulling or you're going to perforate your material and your bag's going to be tearing left and right. Because we are using plastic, I encourage you to use clips. You can't really use pins this way because it's going to leave holes. I do have 1 8 inch double sided tape that helps me keep the plastic kind of positioned. If you're worried about it gumming up your needle, you'll have to um, stick with clips. And then the lighter is real important to singe all of the loose threads because you don't want to see them on your clear bag. So make sure after each starting and stopping, you're singeing the um, threads to keep them from unraveling. Some sharp scissors. And then this is a poly roller. I got it from Tandy Leather. But this also helps really smooth those seams because you can't iron them flat. So the last tool I want to mention is a hair dryer. In fact, I kind of just leave it down here in my studio because I use it a lot because I work with vinyls a lot. If you blast your vinyl with high heat, it gets it real soft and malleable and it will make it turning very, very easy. So I would encourage you to have this ready to go on standby as well. So there are a lot of fun custom vinyls coming out on the market from all these small shops that are really cool. I don't happen to have any, so I'm gonna take that opportunity to really play up all of these fun custom zippers from the same small shop. So I'm not gonna go into a full tutorial on how to make the bag start to finish because I already have that. I'm only showing you how it deviates from the original pattern, not using a lining. As you can see, I've already finished the back. The only difference from doing it in clear vinyl versus how the pattern is written is you're not sandwiching the lining. So do exactly how the pattern says for this, and then you can set it aside. Now, you may have noticed, or it's kind of hard to see because they're clear vinyl, but I only cut two vinyls for each pocket, not four. There's no lining. But you do need the second one to be the wall of the pocket that separates from the interior of the bag. I would encourage you to still add these side pockets as a separate entity from the main bag because with it being clear, anybody can see what's in your bag and you don't really want them to be able to open these side zippers and access the main compartment. You still want it separated so that the main access is against your back and it's still anti-theft. So just like the main pattern, we're gonna keep it oriented in front of us, a right pocket and a left. We're gonna start with the right. So I'm just gonna move the other stuff out of the way and then I'm gonna set one, the wall piece, off to the side. If you're using directional vinyl, you do need to be mindful of keeping it going up and down and then keeping track of which vinyl piece is which so that you still end up with a right pocket and a left pocket and not upside down. Leaving my zipper closed, I know this is the top, this is the top. I'm gonna turn it sideways and then we need to lay it face down with our, I still added the little center markings, the notches on both the zipper and the top of the curved portion here. We're gonna lay it face down on top and then ease it in place 
and sew a quarter inch seam allowance just like the pattern says. This one gets kind of confusing because it's reverse tape, but this is obviously the correct side. This is the wrong side. So I'm gonna use some double-sided tape to help me with that to keep it all positioned, or you can go ahead and use your clips. I'm doing both pockets at the same time, but still being mindful of my right pocket and my left pocket. The zippers just happen to be open, otherwise they would be up at the top. I do want to make sure that you're aware that once you put double-sided tape, especially this is a permanent leather adhesive, that once you put it on your vinyl, there's no getting it off. So even if I peel this off, the tape still sticks. So that's kind of annoying. You might have to cut another piece. So be, be sure that you know um, that you're putting it on the right spot and that you don't need to take it off. And because it's clear, make sure you bust out your bifocals because it's kind of hard to see everything. Let's go sew these. Just sewn them in place. Now we're just gonna finger press this to the right side. Now, the very first one I made, I did go ahead and top stitch the zipper that way, but I found that I was really fighting with the, the hard plastic to lay smooth. See, it kind of wants to ripple under there, which caused the side pocket to kind of ripple. So instead, what I chose to do for the, the next one I made is I just kind of let it naturally fall towards the inside and I'm not gonna top stitch it. And I will show you an example of both of those so you can make your own educated decision. But when you do it like this, what happens is that it does roll to the inside, but I don't find that this gets caught in the lining or anything There's or in the zipper. There's no lining that it's being pushed into the zipper and I've had no issue zipping it and unzipping it. So I am choosing not to top stitch this side and I'm gonna, do that to both of these where I just kind of flip it to the right side, but I'm gonna let it naturally roll underneath. So let me just show you what I'm talking about. All right, so this was the first bag I made and I did top stitch. This is a really thick vinyl and I don't know the gauge. Um, the supplier was unsure as well, but it has some rippling under here and it really fought me to lay straight and I feel like I'm now having to do a lot of finger pressing with it and it's still Kind of bugs me so I chose not to do it on this one as you can see it kind of rolls under it looks better in my opinion and again no issues unzipping it so proceed however you wish okay so now I've grabbed those walls lining and I keep them oriented this way. So if there was a print, you know it's going up and down. And this is how it does deviate a little bit from the pattern. So what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna lay my double-sided tape here or use clips and I'm gonna put the wrong side of the zipper tape down into the tape like this and they're gonna be basted as one. And once I've sewn this down, I'm just going close to the edge, an eighth inch. So by doing that, I am sewing through tape, but my machine can handle that. So for this step, you may prefer to use clips to stay out of the tape. So I'm going to baste it an eighth inch from the edge. And once I come to the top, then I'm going to come back down and baste this down. So this will be a completed pocket and I'll go straight into the next one as well. All right. So I just, with tape, put the wrong side down. So there's our pocket. Now I'm gonna go baste it in place and then close this um, open area on both sides. Our pockets are done. That's all we do for these pockets. Now we just add it to the main part of the bag, which is very different than how the original pattern is written when there's a lining to consider. So we're gonna take the center marking on the zipper tape right side and lay it on the right side of the top of the clear vinyl. There's no right or wrong side as you can see. Even um, printed vinyl, I'm pretty sure it's the same on both sides. So just pick a side, find your center mark and your center mark here and you're gonna line those up and then clip those. And then you're gonna do the same thing how you're lining up the edges on both sides. and ease in the rest. And then we're gonna repeat the same process. Right side of the zipper tape to the right side here, clip. I wouldn't do these at the same time, but I'm gonna show you, cause we're gonna go ahead and sew this. Um, but then this is the completed portion of the, the main part of the bag. You would just turn it right side out.
So let's go to the machine. We'll sew this side and then we'll come back, clip this one in and, and repeat the same process. So what you didn't see for this first side is I have my um, blow dryer laying down here and I'm going to turn it on so that it keeps the vinyl soft because when I go to sew this with the pockets already on it's so stiff it fights me all the clips want to pop off the vinyl wants to move it is very frustrating I won't lie so I found that if I can blast it with heat then it gets really soft and I'm able to easily manipulate it with my hands as I'm sewing so you might want to try that if you run into the same problem. So both zippers are on. It's currently inside out. So I'm going to leave it like that. Um, you can turn it right side out to check things, but I've already made this before, so I'm not going to bother. <laughs> um, but with the topper, this is my right side with the little castle. So that's going to go face down on the interior and make sure your zippers are closed or you know where your upper is. You don't want to add it to the bottom. So I'm going to center it just like we do in the other pattern. We're going to base this in place. Then all we do is we add our back the exact same way, turn it right side out, finger press those zippers, and you're done. So all of that previous, those previous steps were in time lapse because it's all covered in the original that video. There's nothing different for this vinyl version. So the only thing now I'm going to trim down to a quarter inch seam allowance on this, and I'm choosing not to do any bias tape because this is vinyl. Nothing really frays here, and then I felt like it would just draw more attention to my seams on the inside. But you're welcome to bind things if you feel more comfortable. So I'm gonna trim this down, and then I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my blow dryer, blast it with heat, and turn it right side out. I did add the hardware off camera because that's a part of the original video. But just like the original version, you still have to take that time to really finger press nicely the, the zipper in order to get it to lay flat and look nice. So take, don't skimp on that. I just pinch it between my fingers. And then again, because I didn't top stitch, I kind of just let it roll to where it wants to on the opposite side. <laughs> There we go. 